Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about why people love Wes Anderson's movie aesthetic. Let's get right into it. Wes Anderson is a highly productive modern filmmaker known for his distinctive cinematic style. While his films may not generate the same box office numbers as those directed by Christopher Nolan, Anderson's work is well known among both avid moviegoers and casual audiences. Although people may not immediately recognize his name, they can easily identify his films by their unique aesthetic. When a trailer for one of Anderson's movies plays, many viewers can instantly recognize the director's signature style, which includes visually striking compositions, symmetrical shots, and bold color schemes. Wes Anderson's upcoming film, Asteroid City, has recently unveiled its trailer and is scheduled to premiere in theaters on June 16, 2023. The trailer for Asteroid City showcases Anderson's classic film style, which is both a draw for his fans and a source of criticism for those who wish to see the director experiment with new visual techniques. Anderson's style has become so iconic that it has even been parodied in popular media, including skits on Saturday Night Live. Despite being easily recognizable, it can be difficult to pinpoint precisely what Anderson's style is called or when it first developed. Anderson's style is often described as whimsical and quirky, characterized by a vivid color palette, carefully composed shots, and symmetrical framing. His films often feature idiosyncratic characters and intricate sets, creating a unique and surreal world for audiences to immerse themselves in. Anderson's distinct style is thought to have originated with his early films such as Rushmore and the Royal Tenenbaums, which garnered critical acclaim for their originality and visual artistry. Wes Anderson's films may not be considered mainstream Hollywood blockbusters, but they have developed a loyal cult following. Anderson's filmography has been highly praised by critics, and many of his films have been nominated for Academy Awards. Anderson's distinct style is aimed at a niche audience seeking something different from the typical Hollywood blockbuster. Anderson's films are characterized by their offbeat humor, whimsical visuals, and idiosyncratic characters. While his films may not appeal to everyone, they resonate with a specific subset of viewers who appreciate his unique approach to filmmaking. Anderson's style is often described as quirky and unconventional, a stark departure from the formulaic storytelling of many mainstream films. There are numerous compelling factors to appreciate Wes Anderson's movies, including the music, color scheme, and the iconic Bill Murray. However, the most profound reason may be subconscious to most viewers. It has been revealed that Anderson's signature style is heavily influenced by a fundamental aspect of human nature, symmetry. Anderson is a highly precise filmmaker who incorporates symmetry into his shots of protagonists, extravagant sets, and scenic landscapes. This attention to symmetry is evident in his earlier works like Rushmore and even more so in the Grand Budapest Hotel. Anderson's passion for balance borders on the extreme, which is not surprising given his reputation for meticulousness. However, Anderson's emphasis on symmetry is not just a personal preference. There is scientific evidence to support this artistic choice. Research has demonstrated that humans have an innate tendency to fixate on symmetry. This inclination plays a crucial role in determining our preferences for objects and individuals. According to scientific studies, humans unconsciously evaluate others' physical appearance based on the symmetry of their facial features. The symmetry of face can indicate good genes and a healthy upbringing, making it more attractive to others. This explains why high cheekbones and jawlines, which are symmetrical facial features, are commonly viewed as beautiful traits in both men and women. As a result, it's not surprising that celebrities like Brad Pitt with his symmetrically pleasing face are considered attractive by many. The human inclination towards symmetry is not merely a cultural construct, but is rather deeply ingrained in our biological makeup. Anderson's use of symmetry in his films taps into a primal instinct shared by humans and even other animals. Research has demonstrated that symmetry preferences are observable in infants as young as four months old, suggesting that it is an innate quality. Even at this early age, infants can recognize and prefer symmetrical patterns and shapes. This suggests that the human preference for symmetry is not learned, but rather a part of our instinctive nature. Furthermore, honeybees also exhibit a preference for symmetry, demonstrating that this preference is not unique to humans alone. This discovery holds more significance than simply confirming Wes Anderson's artistic genius. It debunks the notion that Anderson's style is only based on his use of particular color schemes and offbeat music. Instead, it shows how his film's visual appeal is rooted in a fundamental human preference for symmetry. This realization should make detractors of Anderson reconsider their opinions. It's clear that this style is not haphazard, but is rather a product of extensive thought and meticulous planning. 
Anderson's emphasis on symmetry elevates his films from mere entertainment to a form of art that resonates with viewers on a deep biological level. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.